My name is Charles Woolridge and I am an Applications Engineer with Go Engineer. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate creating mates between dissimilar shapes. Our demo parts are a plug with four squarish prongs and a plate with four round receptors. We want to mate these two features, the square prong with the round receptor. Let me show you how we're going to mate these two features. As the prongs are squarish in shape and the receptors are round, the concentric mate cannot be used directly. Let's add construction geometry so we may use the concentric mate to align and mate these parts. Let's add some construction geometry to the four prong plug square part. We'll right click on the part in the feature tree open the part and we'll create a sketch on the bottom of the prongs. We will use a center line type of line. And create a circle at the midpoint and going tangent to one side. We also want that for construction. We'll do that again. Midpoint, tangent to one side, and also for construction. We'll exit the sketch, save it, regen, and let's switch our part. Going back over to the... Now that we're back in the assembly, let's go ahead and create our concentric mates. We want to select mate of the type. We want to select the first receptor and let's select the circle geometry here. And you'll notice it's facing the wrong way, so let's change the alignment to anti align. Then we'll rotate it into the correct alignment. And let's select the next feature here and the other construction yes and then the last line we wanted to do or mate we want to do is a distance mate and that will be between this face here and this face here and we'll make that 50 thousandths and there you have a concentric made of mismatched features. Thank you for watching this video. I am Charles Woolridge, an applications engineer at Go Engineer.